forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with meteorologist Sabian Cologne. Okay, so Xavier, I want your predictions on Groundhog Day. Okay. Do you think the groundhog is going to see his shadow or not see his shadow? I mean, I'm really not biased. <laughs> I'm more of the more of the science part of you know Groundhog oh, right, Day. Right, right, right. Oh, of course. I, I of guess course. we'll of trust the rodent in Pennsylvania. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's what you got me for to help you with the weather. But right now we had a pretty sunny day, having conditions in the upper 60s, even lower 70s at some point. But right now, looking at our Syntex Seamless Go to Sky Tracker out here in Woodway, great conditions outside, mostly clear, and that just persisted throughout the whole day. But currently, right now, we have temperatures 42 degrees with a south southwesterly wind at seven miles an hour and other temperatures right now we can see 47 in temple and 43 in colleen if you're going down south a little bit warmer 46 in college station and 44 in brenham so moving to our satellite loop right now we can see all is clear and all is quiet for the central portion of Texas. That's because we have this little high pressure system down there making it perfect conditions and pleasant nights and pleasant days. So that's going to keep the trend for these next couple of days. We do have some clouds working their way, though, from the western portion of Texas, and that's not really going to affect central Texas at all. So moving to our future cast, we're starting here on Monday at 12 o'clock. We have temperatures that are in the mid 40s and clear conditions. So as we put this into motion, we get to that Monday morning. It's going to be a little bit cooler starting off in your upper 30s and lower 40s. But the thing is, it's sunny conditions. And as we get throughout the day, we're already starting to heat up. We get temperatures already at mid 60s. Look at the 66 in Waco. So because of all that sunshine, we're going to warm up pretty quickly. And as we go throughout the evening hours, we have temperatures maybe even peaking into the lower 70s at some point. But at the 5 o'clock hour, having temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s and as we progress into the overnight of Monday and into the morning of Tuesday this cold front moves in but it's not really going to be a cold front it's going to be bringing more warmer temperatures we're going to even check that out we have temperatures getting into the mid and upper sorry mid and lower 70s possibly on that Tuesday if we have more of that sunshine that's going to keep us even heating up warmer and getting even warmer temperatures so above average temperatures for this time of year all is clear, not a cloud in the sky for these next couple of days. So here's our outlook, the 8 to 14 days, brought to you by the Climate Prediction Center. We can see the first week of February, we're looking in this warmer category right here. And going to our precipitation, we can see it's a little more wetter in the western portion of Texas. And then a little bit less wetter, a little bit above the equal chances in this lighter shade of green on the eastern portion of Texas. So the first week of February is looking warmer and it's looking wetter for this first week of February. So moving to our tonight forecast, we can see 38 degrees, mostly clear with a south southwesterly wind at 36 miles an hour. And our tomorrow forecast, look at that, 69 degrees, getting pretty warm, mostly sunny with 5 to 10 miles out of the south south southwesterly portion and today's Sunday and your first work week or almost last work week of January having temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s look at that 70 on that Tuesday we're gonna just uh, keep this trend and we're gonna start to decline a little bit as we get to that weekend to get 62 on Saturday and 54 on Sunday but the thing is really to work about is those showers on that Friday and on that Saturday we're gonna be more of those chances of showers but that Monday through Thursday is looking great not a cloud in the sky and moving to our our long range 10 day forecast. Look at all this sunshine we have over here from about Monday to Thursday, all that sunshine, but Groundhog Day rolls around and really puts a little damp in on our end of our week, having that 50% chance and that 70% chance on that Saturday. But having temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s, and then we cool down a little bit as we get to that first week of February, having temperatures in the mid and upper 50s. And as you move down south to the Brazos Valley, a little bit less sunshine. We have some broken cloud conditions on that Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we do have those more chances of rain, a little bit less on that 40%, 60%, even leaking over into 20% on that Sunday. Heavy temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s. And look at that Wednesday, 69 degrees, having the overnight lows in between the mid and upper 40s. That's the latest forecast. PJ, back to you.